welcome back to KTR videos. So today we are doing another tutorial for you, but this time we are going to draw one of the adorable num noms. And the one that I chose is the special edition Connie confetti. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with the eye. So for the num num eye, it's just a simple, small circle. So just draw a small circle on your paper. And the eyelashes, the eyelashes are very much like a Shopkins eyelashes, except they're a bit thinner and they have a little bit of a curve to them. And the nose sits a little bit um, from the eye and it's like a rounded, um, wide type of U. So kind of like, like this. And then you're gonna draw another slightly curved line to connect the two ends of that um, U. And let's see, the next eye is closed or winking. So you're gonna draw a banana type shape, but very thin. So like a crescent or banana, like that. And then we're gonna add the eyelashes. There's one that faces up, and then there's one that goes off to the side like that. Now the mouth is actually pretty simple. Um, it's just a curved line. So you're gonna start from the bottom, and then you're gonna slowly curve up towards the corner of the upper corner of the nose, and you're gonna stop there. All right, now we're gonna move on to drawing the, um, the base, which is just, um, it's almost like a big cloud, a long, wide cloud. So don't bother trying to copy off of every um, thing that I'm doing here. Just do some loops and make it look like a cloud. That's it. I'm not even copying the picture um, exactly for this part. And um, from here, we're gonna start drawing off on the sides. Now the sides just make a squiggly line going up just a little bit, just like that, not too much. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So just lightly curved and squiggly. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna very lightly shade in where her cream um, sits on her head. So it's about here, it, it's about an inch above the eye. Now we're going to um, draw a somewhat of a C shape right here. Um, and then from there, we're gonna start the ear. So let's draw a straight line starting where we left off with that C and then curve around like a U, like a very big U, and then make another small U inside of that. And that's gonna be her ear. And just draw a line right underneath it, just as, as, as I'm doing right now. On this side, we just drew a small C again, um, not as curved as the other one, and we're gonna work on the other ear. So, um, same idea, I am, on this side, I kinda had trouble keeping it even, so I'm just drawing the base first. So I'm drawing a straight line, and then um, essentially, I'm gonna do the same thing now. I'm gonna make a big U for her ear. So here we go, and around like that, and then make a smaller U inside again. Next, we're going to just finish up this uh, top part over here. Oh no, my camera completely shut off on me and I don't even know why. But anyway, so I quickly redrew this part here so that I could show you how to draw that top part of the uh, whipped cream. Okay guys, so we're going to uh, create this top that kind of resembles a Hershey Kiss. So we're gonna start down here and we're gonna come around just very slowly and then you're gonna come curve in a little bit and then up again. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and just draw the little wave part in there. So there you go. So you see how that looks like a Hershey Kiss or a wave? And then we're gonna come down and back around again. So. Again, you're just gonna curve, um, starting from the side, curve up and around, make a little wave and come back down again. So that's it. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw um, just a little curved line right over here. And that just shows the layers of the cream. And of course, now we're going to add our uh, sprinkles, which are very easy. They're just little um, sausage looking things here, as you can see. So there's two of them. We're gonna put one right over here. We'll put this one over here. And then we'll put 
two more. We'll put one right over here. And then the last one, we'll draw right over here. If you wanna add more, go right ahead. All right, so this is the end of the drawing part of Connie Confetti. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want to color her in along with me, then just keep watching the video. I will be using colored pencils to color Connie Confetti in, but you feel free to use what you want. You will need, however, a pink shade, just regular pink, a lavender if you have it. If you don't have lavender, then don't worry about it. This is optional. If you don't have lavender though, be sure to have a dark pink on hand. So you're gonna need a regular pink and a dark pink. A light brown, as well as a dark brown, a light green, almost like aqua, a dark green, yellow, dark yellow, even tan would be fine. As a matter of fact, if you don't have that dark yellow, then make sure you have a beige or tan, like this one. And that's it. Okay, before coloring in her eye, first we need to draw in a tiny, tiny circle um, in the upper um, left-hand corner of the eye. This will be the glare. Now we're gonna take our light brown and we're going to color the entire eye in, including the eyelashes. But be sure not to color in the glare. Next, we're gonna take our dark brown, if you have that darker shade, and we're just going to um, color in the eyelashes um, completely. And then we're also going to add a little bit of shadow along the edges of the eye. So just kind of copy what I do, and you'll see it as I finish it up. So I'm just coloring all along the edge of the eye. Next, I'm going to take my light brown and I'm going to color in one more time. So I wanna double up on the color. So I'm just coloring it in with that light brown. Now I'm gonna take my dark brown pencil one last time and I'm just gonna darken in the edges of the eye a little bit to add that shadow effect. Now this eye um, is the same thing essentially. As a matter of fact, it's dark throughout. So really, I'm just going to color in the entire eye with my light brown and then take my dark brown and do the same thing again, just color in the entire thing this time. Because again, her winking eye is dark throughout. Now the nose also has two tiny um, thin glare spots. Don't worry about it. You guys can actually skip that part. I'm putting it in here, but um, it might be a little hard to do. So anyway, we're gonna take our light brown um, pencil and we're gonna color in the entire nose. If you are gonna add a little glare, then um, be sure not to color in the two glare spots. But otherwise, just color in the entire nose with the light brown. And then you're gonna take your dark brown pencil and we're just going to outline the nose, as you will see me doing here. And then we're going to add a little bit of the dark brown in the nose. And then we're gonna take our light brown and color in the whole thing again. Now the mouth is simple. You're just gonna take your dark brown and you're just going to trace it. That's it, it's a thin mouth so there's not much to do. Now we're gonna take our dark pink and we are going to outline or trace the body of uh, Connie Confetti. Now we're going to take our light colored pencil and we're going to color the entire um, bottom portion in. Now I am going to add two to three layers. Now we're going to take our lavender or dark pink, whatever you have, and we're going to add shadow all along the edges of this bottom uh, base. So just follow along as I'm doing here. Again, you're just gonna add some dark shadow all along the edges of this bottom part here. And on the sides, you wanna add a little bit more, so you want to come about a half inch out. Now we're gonna take our dark pencil, and we're going to add the little lines to make it look like ice cream. So they're kind of like squiggly lines all over.
I'm going to take my dark pink pencil and I'm just going to trace um, this portion of the cream that sits on her head just so I don't go over it when I'm coloring her face in. Now take our light pink and we're gonna color her entire face in. Next, we're gonna take our lavender or dark pink and we're going to add the shadow in her face. So um, it's gonna be a little bit on the sides um, and then just a thin line at the top and bottom. Now we're gonna take our dark pink um, and we're gonna add the ice cream lines in. So again, they're just squiggly lines. Now we're going to take our dark pink and we're going to go ahead and just trace her ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace the entire ear inside and out. There we go. Take our light pink and we're gonna color the entire ear in. Then we're going to take our dark pink or lavender and color the entire inner ear in. And we're also going to trace the inner ear um, with this lavender or dark pink. Make it very, very dark. And then uh, for the outer ear, all you're gonna do is just trace the outer ear um, very dark, so. Then we're gonna take our dark pink and we're just adding those ice cream lines in again. For the other ear, it's the same steps. We're going to trace the entire thing with our dark pink. Then we're going to color the entire thing in with our lighter shade of pink. And after that, you're going to take your dark pink or your lavender and you're going to color in the entire inner ear as well as add some um, shadow by darkening the edges of the inner ear and the edges of the outer ear. Now the cream. You're gonna take your beige or tan and you're going to trace all of the cream. Now press dark so that way it shows. Then you're gonna use that same um, color and we're gonna add the shadow to the cream. Now basically, you can either copy what I'm doing, which is I'm adding shadow all along the bottom edges, making it pretty thick, that shadow, um, and then I'm adding it to the top as well. The main thing here is that you just wanna make sure that you're leaving some of the paper untouched. So you wanna see some white patches and some tan or shadow patches. The top here, I'm just making it extra dark um, so that way the peak kind of stands out a little bit. Now we're gonna move on to the sprinkles. And I am going to start off with the yellow sprinkles. So we're gonna take our dark yellow and or tan and we're going to trace the sprinkle. There we go. Then take our normal yellow and we're going to color that in just like this, okay? And then the only reason why I had the dark yellow or tan is to add shadow to that sprinkle. So basically you're just gonna darken up the edges once more. Um, so you can just do what I'm doing or just uh, go off on your own here because again, you're just darkening the edges. Same thing with that sprinkle over there. Um, we're going to darken the edges with the dark yellow or tan. And then take our yellow pencil or crayon, whatever you're using, and color it in completely. And then, once again, take your dark and just darken the edges up. That's it. Now we're gonna take our green, our dark green, and we're going to trace this sprinkle. Now take your lighter green, or aqua, whatever you chose, and color the entire thing in. Then take your dark um, green and just darken the edges once more. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing on this sprinkle because it's also green. So just trace it with that dark green, then you're gonna color with the lighter green, and then darken the edges with the dark green again. All right, moving on to our pink sprinkles. Take your dark pink and you're going to trace that. And then take your light pink and you're gonna color that in completely.
And then take your dark pink and darken up those edges. Same thing with this one up here. We're going to trace it with the dark pink, color it in completely with the light pink, and then darken the edges once more with that dark pink. Well guys, that's it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you were able to uh, draw and color and Connie confetti. If you did do this along with us and you have your picture, be sure to share it with us on our Facebook page. We would love to check out your artwork. Well guys, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.